No, we launched last July uh, to celebrate our freedom of independence from censorship and cancel culture. Uh, and we had about 2 million users in record time. Uh, we are currently sitting at about 5 million users total uh, globally. So not only are we here in the United States where cancel culture is an issue, but we're also in Brazil, uh, the UK, France, Japan, Germany, uh, Australia, all these places, all these uh, markets have access to Getter, and uh, this is a really, really just wide-ranging issue uh, that we've been able to solve for. Um, isn't Getter closer to a Twitter than to a Facebook? It is. So twi uh, we've kind of been called a Twitter clone, a Twitter killer by some. Uh, actually, when you sign up, you can import in all of your Twitter content, right? Because that's your IP. So you sign up for an account if you're using the same handle you're using on Twitter, you can actually import in all your stuff and then uh, in the coming days, you'll be able to actually post on Getter and it cross posts to Twitter as well because they are so similar, right? So we want people to never have to log on to Twitter again because it's a terrible place and if you're a conservative, you're gonna get censored. Um, uh, will you pl uh, play YouTube videos as an embed on the tweet? Uh, you can embed videos, you can do live streaming. We have our own competitor to TikTok, Instagram Reels. It's called Vision. Uh, that will be on, uh, kind of rolling out very slowly over the next few weeks. Uh, and, and yeah, you can kind of do it all. It's, it's really, it's interesting. We want to be the, I hate using this term because it's used by the left so often, but we kind of need a safe space for conservatives to show up and be a part of the conversation, right? We want everyone there. We want everyone there, but right now, the left is talking and all we can really do as conservatives is listen. We can't really contribute to the conversation for fear of being banned or censored. So conservative voices can get heard among uh, other conservatives, uh, but do Democrats also come and listen? Yeah, there are uh, plenty of Democrats actually, because this issue, like I said, they don't care, big tech doesn't care if you are black, white, fat, skinny, Republican, Democrat, like even American or not, right? They don't care if what you're saying doesn't jive with their narrative, they're going to get rid of you. Like they're going, it's just a matter of time before they find you and they get rid of you. And so that's why it's really important for everyone to get on Getter as soon as possible, right? Because that way you can kind of grab up as much market share as possible before uh, really things really get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there a concern do you find among journalists about this uh, fascistic acceptance among the uh, the mainstream press of the, uh, deciding what's disinformation and uh, you can't go counter to the party line? Is When you deal with journalists, are, are they looking for an out like for, from Getter? Yeah, I think, you know, we saw it in this most recent election with the Hunter Biden story, for example, right? Like. The big tech, the left, the administration even, they pick the winners and losers, right? It is very, very clear and obvious. I'll say, like the example I've been using lately is, what's a good example, what's happening in the Ukraine, right? Very important, has global impact, I'm not saying it doesn't, right? But it's simultaneously you have these other stories that, you know, are probably more important to families like mine at home who like, you know, you gotta take a loan out to buy a Thanksgiving Day turkey, right? You don't see that on Twitter. But you know the the left kind of gets to pick and choose a little bit what's important to them, and they are telling you that it should be important to you. And I think you know the more that they do this, the the more obvious it becomes that they are essentially gaslighting the American public or the world. Right? Um, it becomes easier and easier for people to jump onto some of these alternative platforms. Is there a cost to being on it? No cost. Totally free. Ad based. Uh, we haven't gotten that far yet in monetization. Uh, we haven't needed to, quite frankly. Uh, you know, I think where we see monetizing the platform, obviously we're working on, we'll never sell your data. Like I said, that's a huge, huge, huge point. Um, and so we're working on like advertising opportunities that don't require doing that. In addition to, uh, you'll be able to like directly tip at some point, we'll unveil Getter Pay. So say Scott jumps on Getter, he does something I like, I can then give him, you know, five bucks, I can buy him a cup of coffee on the platform, right? And so we would then maybe take like a fraction of a penny off of each transaction. But it's really, it's not even about that, honestly. Um, it's not on the front burner for us. Uh, really, we just want to get out there and provide a quality platform for people to speak their mind. And the spelling is Getter without a... G-E-T-T-R, it's right here, baby.
dot com. <laughs> Getter.com, and we're on the uh, app stores, uh, both Google and Apple.